All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. I hope I can help you guys out a little bit. Uh, today's video is gonna be the top five for those guys. Um, hopefully you know what that is. That's that's a walleye. Um, little information on my walleye, that's an eight pound, 28 inch walleye. I've caught bigger, but I still have to get replicas of those. And uh, yeah, we'll get some friends for that soon enough. But today is all about the, basically all the lures and stuff and options that I think I kind of had to think about this for a little bit because there's all kinds of options. Like there's one hanging right there. There's one hanging in the mouth of that thing. There's a bunch of different options to catch walleye. But the thing is, is in the fall, this is all this is all stuff for the fall. I, it does work in the springtime, so I guess you could say cold water walleye. But uh, yeah, top five lures I'm going to give you guys for catching fall walleye. Uh, so you guys are ready. And I'm going to link them in the description below so you guys can do it too. Okay, so let's go a little overview of this. Uh, we're going to start with the most simple, and then we'll go from there. All right, so this is going to be a quick little video. Uh, it's only five lures, and I want to get this across to you guys. I'm going to try and talk you through each one briefly. Um, I do have a whole playlist I will put at the end of this video that will kind of give you even more uh, detailed stuff. If you guys are trying to learn a little bit more about fishing or something like that, you might be new to the sport. Uh, anybody that's experienced, I'm just trying to help anybody that, uh, you know, might not have these in their arsenal to pick some of those guys up. Uh, I like walleye fishing. Uh, it's become one of my favorite fall things to do. Um, I fish for everything that swims and, uh, you guys that have been subscribed, you guys know I, I'm addicted to bluegill fishing and stuff like that. But as far as walleye go, it's fun figuring them out. And these five, I promise if you get them and set them up properly uh you're gonna have to learn how to use them properly and stuff like that i'm gonna try to do some more how-to videos this uh fall here because i didn't do enough i don't think last year if you guys thought i did enough videos last year go ahead and say something in the comments and let me know that you guys got some information from me i'm trying to help you guys out um but as far as this year goes i'm gonna try to go into this fall with the mindset of just like picking apart a couple of the presentations that I kind of use for go to and I'm going to try and uh, convey them to you guys so that way everybody can go to do the same thing but uh like I said we're going to start off with the most simple and that is a lead head jig this is the most simple walleye catching lure bait hook whatever you want to say I think I've ever come across it works all year round but in the fall and in the spring it's really simple so when I I would have to say so here's a little tip for you guys when the water temps hit around uh, 50 degrees so you can go I mean 55 sometimes but usually it's that 50 to like 44 45 uh, usually after or right before lakes turnover. If you guys don't know what a turnover is, I'm going to go into detail in that in a different video. Hopefully, uh, as it happens, I can kind of show you guys what's going on, and that way it makes more sense for you guys. But for the shortest example of what a turnover is, water has different temperatures in it, and it stratifies, and then in the summertime, you end up with like a thermocline, which means that that temperature stays the same, and then like most oxygenated and all that stuff. Long story short, before the water turns over. That's why it's called turnover. Uh, when the lake flips, basically. And then the, the surface temp is the exact same temp as the bottom temp, and then the whole thing happens. Uh, this happens in northern climates, by the way. So if you live in a southern climate, I don't know much about turnover down there, but I think they do. I think it does happen. Uh, it might happen at different times, but for us up here in Wisconsin and other northern states, um, where areas where it gets cold, the lake will flip and then the whole thing becomes one thing. But before that happens, so like as that's getting to the point where it's like right before that happens, this is a great tool. So this with a minnow or even like a half a night crawler, I've, I've done full night crawlers. Um, for the most basic search tool you can come across, get yourself a nice big heavy lead set jig like this um, with a good strong hook shank, something that's not going to bend out on you if you hook into a monster, because one thing that happens in the fall is walleye feed up. So what you'll end up with is fat little porkers like that thing. Well, it's not little, but they go from being long, lean swimming machines to like 
they gorge themselves. Uh, that's why it's fun fishing for them because they hit like a ton of bricks in the fall. Um, but this guy right here, it's just so simple. So like to keep it short, you can go shallow to deep, deep to shallow, but usually right before the turnover, the fish will be stacking up staging right at where they're going to go up shallow. So if you guys happen to know where they're going to be after that, like if you've seen them there shallow before, um, they're usually going to be right outside that somewhere uh, stacking up. So sometimes you'll get into a school or something like that, and that's where this comes in handy because you can just throw a minnow on there or, or a worm and kind of bounce it off the bottom. And it's one of those things. It's just this little search tool. Bounce it off the bottom. Um, you know, kind of keep it within that half a foot to a foot off the bottom range because uh, that's usually going to be where they're glued until the turnover, uh, unless they're suspended. And then there's different options. So let's get into those. Okay, so like I said before, I'm gonna go through the, the simple explanations for things. So first thing was the lead head jig. Just go get yourself a pack of them. They're cheap, you lose them, it doesn't matter. Lead head jig, that's, that's number one. Number two, and you can actually combine these two, but I'm gonna just put this out there. The slip bobber. The slip bobber is such an underrated tool. Nobody uses it. I have a video and I will mention it. You guys can go through uh, my tackle tips. I did a tackle tip Tuesday thing. I'm actually wearing, <laughs> I'm actually wearing that shirt right now. Oh, speaking of which, DWS Outdoors merch. If you guys are subscribed and you guys don't earn own merch yet, I don't know what you're doing. I, I really, 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 really appreciate all the views and all the help and suggestions and sharing all that stuff. But if you really want to help the channel so that I can get out more and film more. Pick up some merch. That's gonna help me the most. Plus, I mean, it looks good. I, I mean, I think it. I think it looks good. I don't know. Comment below. What do you guys think? Anyways, back on track. Slip bobbers. I have a video that's all slip bobbers. In fact, I will put it right here. You can go to that and learn everything you ever needed to know about slip bobbers. So just go back and then click on that card, and the card will tell you exactly what to do for fishing for walleye with slip bobbers there's so much i don't want to have to go into detail there's a whole video about it because of that so slip bobbers okay so i'm gonna go with this guy because it's kind of gonna go along the lines of like searching that bottom column but the thing is is so right before the turnover and actually even after the turnover because walleye will scatter through the water column it's such an underrated thing this is a slender spoon and i know some of you guys have been around for a long time and a good portion of you guys actually are ice fishermen that's why you subscribed in the first place because i did hundreds of ice fishing videos go look at those when you guys are bored but uh for now this little slender spoon from custom jigs and spins is it's such an underrated thing okay so i'm gonna give you a quick little de like demonstration idea of how to use this I have a whole video on how to use these. Um, you can use them in the winter t or spring, fall, summer. Like you can use them all open water season, obviously bef besides the winter because that's when they work really good too. Um, but I will put that video up here because that goes into great detail. But basically snap, leader, inline swivel, and then in front of the inline swivel, so when I'm using these, I use them almost like a Lindy rig or a bottom bouncer rig or something like that, and I just put a, um, what are they called? <laughs> a split shot or a weight of some kind in front of the inline swivel and get this down there, and all you do is put half of a night crawler on here so that this swims around at whatever given depth that the fish are hiding at. Now, if you're a shore fisherman or something like that, you won't need the weight. Um, you can just run, there's different sizes. This is a uh, 1 16th ounce size. It's one of their smaller ones. Um, I just like it because everything eats it. So like you can catch bluegills, perch, crappie, everything on this. Um, but needless to say, you, you figure out where the fish are hiding at, get it down to their level. And then once you're down there, I mean, you'll see. If you fish it properly, you'll catch your walleye. You'll probably also catch a bunch of northern pike. Just to, I'm warning you guys, if you're not using a heavy enough leader, you're going to lose these. <laughs> Either way, you'll catch fish, custom jigs and spin slender spoon. And I don't know if I, I, I said this. I'll put all of these 
things in the description so that you guys can just pick them up uh, as like a set and then you can put your own little uh, fall walleye set together. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out because then that way if you guys are looking for walleye and stuff like that, you can just kind of bring that this group of things along with you and kind of pick it apart. And if you can't catch them with one of these things, you guys need to work on finding your fish better. <laughs> Okay, so that was three. So you got jig, slip bobber, slender spoon. Uh, I have a video for the slip bobber and the slender spoon. I had that in uh, the cards. Go back and look look for those cards when I talk about it. And uh, you guys can go to those and I go into great, great detail. I mean, I go into extreme detail on what to do with those. Next one. This is more for boat fishermen. You could use this from shore or a pier but you'd have to be fishing rocks or sand, which in the fall, the fish come up. So this would be after after the water is turned over. So uh, walleye stay down deep, usually most of the summer, and then as they push up into the fall, so you can use this summer, spring, and fall. So it's a jig and wrap. This is made by Rapala. Like I said, I'll list everything below so you guys don't have to, you know, find find them yourself i like uh they have these what are they called they're uv colors glow i like i really like their glow colors or like gold stuff like that uh but really i think it's all about matching the size of the forage with these guys uh and as long as it's like dependent on the clarity of the water is kind of how you buy them you know so dark dark ones dark water more realistic ones clear water but this is a real easy one to fish so because it's it's heavy. If you guys never if you guys have never used a jigging wrap, this is a solid weight. So <laughs> it's solid. Um, and usually you would use this ice fishing also. So you tie to this. Um, I recommend tying to it instead of using a snap. I have used snaps in the wintertime and done decent with them, but it's a really hard process to learn. It's actually better to tie it to this. And then what you want to do if I'm remembering this right, is move your knot to the front of this so that when you snap it, it shoots up and then falls. And then what you're doing is you're bringing it down and then bringing it out of the mud and down. Um, so there's like a bunch of different minnow style baits, but the jigging wrap is like the original. So that's just one you just snap on a good medium heavy or medium rod with a good stiff backbone. And you just snap it up off the bottom. Uh, you bring it through rocks, gravel, sand. Uh, weed edges is a good one. Um, so you could fish this from shore. If you had like a weed edge, you could kind of cast along and then hop it along. But the thing is, is you kind of want to do the snap and then hold as it's swinging or swimming down. Because what these do is they dart left and right. Um, and you're waiting for that hit. Either the fish will pin it to the bottom and you'll snap and you'll set the hook on them or you'll snap and as soon as it goes weightless, they smack, it, they smack it there too. So that means they shot up and then as it was about to dive, they hit it. So real quick breakdown of how to fish those, but jigging wraps, I mean, it's a real simple one. I have an entire box of these. <laughs> like I literally have like 40 or 50 of these things. So they work, give them a try. All right, last but not least, this one is for after the um, the turnover. So like I was saying before, when the water is turning over, that means the top of the water has become the same temperature as the bottom of the water as it cools uh, down all the way up until the lakes freeze. So if you guys don't have lakes that freeze by you, but they get cold enough, like where they're like in their 40s or whatever, you're going to have the same thing. So probably like the mid state line and north, you'll have this happen. So like what happens is the walleye are like usually in deeper water they move freely through the water column once it's like that and a good portion of them once it's in the 40s move up real shallow so shallow is relative shallow could be 15 feet of water or two feet of water but that's where this little gold thing literally it's my gold uh this is a matsuo minnow and this is a jerk bait I have a jerkbait hanging right there. I have like three jerkbait boxes. Why? Well, I have a video, I'll put it right here, that you can go through and look at and I explain all of the reasons why the jerkbait is the number one fall lure. Uh, but this little guy right here, this Matsuo, rivers, creeks, streams, lakes, ponds, I don't care. If there's walleye in it and it's cold, 
they will eat this thing like it's candy. So you guys can, like I said, I'm going to list this stuff in the description below. It helps out the channel. So either merch, if you guys want some clothing. So like this is a long sleeve. I just have the sleeves rolled up. Um, I have a, I have a hoodie over there. I have a bunch of different options for merch. Right now I have a bunch of summer stuff too. Um, I'm going to try and get some more winter stuff going, but for now you guys can just get this or you guys can pick these up. Um, just so you guys understand how good these work. Um, but you have to fish them on something halfway light for line. Like you couldn't fish them on like 10. Well, maybe you could fish them on 10 pound test if it's like a limp enough line. But I try to fish them on six to eight pound test. And the thing with that is Northern Pike love these things and they come shallow too in the fall. So when I buy them, I buy four at a time. <laughs> so if you guys just, I'm not trying to sell you guys these things. I'm literally trying to let you understand that I buy four of these at a time. And if you guys have been around, like you guys that are subscribed, you guys know, I lose these things on a regular basis, but that's just because fish eat them that are big. And, uh, you got to kind of play the finesse game. Uh, get really good with a drag. That's basically all I can say. Uh, if you set the hook and you understand how to get the drag loose right away after setting the hook, you won't lose as many as I do, but I get cocky and I try to pull the fish in and you know what happens. But this guy right here, number five, this is like, this is the number one lure that I would suggest any of you guys looking to get some walleye, pick up some of these. All right, guys. So hopefully that helps some of you guys get out this fall. And when it gets cold, just put some extra clothes on, pick up some merch, you know, this, you can pick up some hoodies. Uh, this, I'll tell you right now, this with this hoodie, um, when you wear them both, I fish all night long when it gets cold out. I mean, I'm talking down to the point where it's freezing outside. Um, so don't put those rods away just because it got a little cold outside. These guys, you'll find them shallow. And if you find them shallow, you guys are going to have a blast, especially with those uh, Matsuo minnows. I'm telling you because it's a blast and I want to share that with you guys. It's so fun. I'm looking forward to it already and it's, it's only August. But... You guys should have fun this uh, fall. So hopefully, like I said, it helps you guys out. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to 